Depot District. I'm about a half mile from South Beach, Miami, and this is one of the largest Art Deco areas that they have. Now, back in the 30s and 40s, this place was rocking. It was like Miami, Vegas. Well, they've gone through the good times and the bad times, but not to worry. They're on their way back because of a bunch of really cool restaurants and unique shops, and one of the joints that's leading the way is right here at the Federal. All right, second, ready, pick up. When you want the food, you come to the Federal. The Venice and Chili and Grit Fries? Thank you. Completely unique. The flavors are amazing. There's a lot of love and passion into the food. Just part of the do what you love attitude of Colombian born chef Caesar Zapata. Got tired of working in hotels, doing the corporate thing. I just want to do my own thing. So he did with his wife, Ani Meinhold, in 2012. They opened Federal and it's been crazy and stuff that. So where did you learn to cook? Texas. Do a barbecue. Is that where the smoker's coming from? Yeah. Barbecue is standing right outside. The smoking is happening right where you walk past. I haven't eaten meat for 40 years, but when I come to the Fed, I make a major exception, and I eat the pig wing. Buffalo style pig wing. It's like basically buffalo chicken wing. This is funky. We get it from a farm, and they raise pigs that have wings. Shuck. <laughs> What is this? Like a mini shank. It's from this part, right here from the pig. Basically, the leg like, poach. Then what we do is that we smoke it. Oh. And how long is this gonna go on? We're gonna go there for maybe 20, 30 minutes. Now, just enough to perfume them a okay. little bit, put a little bit of color to them. What kind of smoke was that? A little bit of hickory and peach. We're gonna make the buffalo sauce for the pig wings. Let's get it going. Texas beef mm -hmm. hot sauce as a base. Garlic powder, ginger powder, chipotle, apple cider vinegar, sriracha, Florida honey. We waste holy butter, Batman. One pound. And then we start to emulsify the butter. Then we'll bring the pig wings back in. We're gonna make the uh, seasoned flour, all purpose garlic powder, ginger, onion powder, chipotle. That's definitely Texas. Salt, black pepper, and mix. Just a natural moisture that's on there. Flour adheres to that. Now, this is the, the buttermilk, dry, wet, dry. Over the fryer. Canola, 350? 350. So there's a pig one. Brushed with a little bit of a uh, house buffalo sauce. There's a blue cheese mousse. Did you dress the carrots or anything? Vinaigrette? And then a house vinaigrette. I mean, this is ridiculous. The shank, the smoke, the wing sauce doesn't overpower it. It doesn't steal the show. The crunch at the end of it, oh, that is outrageous. That's some of the best pork I've ever had. It's a winner, winner, pig wing dinner. Excellent. And if this is a representation of the rest of the menu, it was going to be a fat day. <laughs> the pork wing? Unbelievable. It's not too spicy. It's not like it overpowers the meat. It is so, so tasty. We had very innovative, unique dishes. The um, grit fries are the best. Venison chili and grit fries? It's amazing. We're going to make venison chili. So it's some canola oil. Farm-raised ground venison from Texas. Okay. We're gonna get this brown smoked brisket, smoked brisket, right? White onions, poblano peppers, and then we mix this, sweat them down, probably for two minutes. We add the chili paste. I cook that chili paste like for seven minutes until it starts to get a little dark. We add garlic, comino, comino, a little beer, to make sure we taste. How is it? Uh, it's good. That's right. Oh, that's dark. Chicken stock, a little salt, season. Black pepper. Cook this for two hours until it starts to thicken a little bit. Now we add the cilantro bouquet. And then we'll let that sit for 15, 20 minutes. What is it served with? Some grit fries. So we're gonna make grits, and then we're gonna make fries out. Exactly. This is gonna be good. Flour milk. Stone ground grits. Mix this. Little black pepper, Cajun seasoning, salt. Let this cook down. And once they start to become a little bit stiff, we're going to add the butter, and then we're just going to emulsify it. Next up, cheese, uh, jack, bread. Okay, now we'll take these onto a sheet tray, let them cool. All right. And then we're just going to slice them into logs. Into the fryer? In the fryer. Yeah, nice and golden brown. Look at that. So this is gangster. Then we got the chili, Mexican crema, cotija cheese. Scallion love. Scallions. Chipotle. That's it. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Thank you. This has the depth, the richness, 
the complexity, it's not super spicy. Should, chili shouldn't blow your head off. And then you get to the finale, this grit fry. It's got that crunch and you got the cheese coming through. This is a chili experience. And a little symphony. This is like the Philharmonic. Outstanding. Very nice chef. Fantastic. Then I said chili ready. It's really good. You got a little sweet, a little spicy. The crunch is awesome. The place is funky, the staff is cool, and the food is legit. You are a remarkable chef. Big props, man. Thank you.